Elon Musk breaks silence on Andrew Tate's release, and his savage response is raising provocative questions about power, influence, and accountability in the modern world. The recent release of former kickboxer Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan from almost three months of incarceration has stirred up controversy and raised questions about the justice system. While Andrew remains under house arrest, many are wondering why he's denied bail in the first place. The situation has caught the attention of none other than Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who's been dropping hints about his stance on the matter for the past few months. What did Elon Musk say about Andrew Tate's situation? Is he against the former kickboxer? And why had this case captured the attention of the tech guru? In this video, we'll explore the details of Andrew Tate's release and Elon Musk's savage response. So buckle up and get ready to dive into this intriguing and controversial topic. Let's talk about Andrew Tate, the self-proclaimed top G, who's caused a lot of controversy in the past. He's made some pretty outlandish and harmful comments about women, which have been called misogynistic by major media outlets and people with brains. Tate doesn't seem to care though, as he proudly admits to being both sexist and misogynistic. He's even made comments about women being lazy and incapable of driving. On top of that, he favors dating young women because they're likely to have had sex with fewer men. Surprisingly, there are a lot of young impressionable men who support his ridiculous views. In fact, in 2022, he was searched more times on Google than COVID-19, Kim Kardashian, and even Donald Trump. Tate first made headlines back in 2016 when he appeared on the British Big Brother show. He was also caught hitting a woman with a belt, though he and the woman claimed it was consensual. Despite his controversial past, Tate gained a massive following on social media, with more than 100 TikTok accounts routinely supporting his content. However, all good things must come to an end. In 2017, he was banned from Twitter for violating the platform's policies on hate speech and abusive behavior. However, he was reinstated after Elon Musk bought the social media company. Despite Musk's apparent support for Tate, he has also taken a dig at him in the past. In 2021, Andrew and his brother were arrested in Romania on suspicion of running an illegal online gambling operation. In response, Musk tweeted, if only there was a way to short casinos and online gambling, which was widely interpreted as a sarcastic comment directed towards Tate. In 2022, a deplatforming campaign was launched against Tate, resulting in him being banned from meta platforms Facebook and Instagram for breaking their rules on dangerous individuals and organizations. He was also banned on YouTube for breaching their hate speech rules. Recently, Musk tweeted, Sometimes it's just better to make pizza at home. Even though he didn't mention the top G by name, but it was clear to many that he was trolling him. Despite Andrew Tate's arrest by Romanian authorities, he did not shy away from using social media accounts. Tate was arrested and spent almost three months in jail, while many believed that with his insistence on being innocent, he would be released after a few days. They were mistaken. The document explaining an earlier decision to keep him in jail said the judge took into account the particular dangerousness of the defendant and their capacity to identify victims with an increased vulnerability in search of better life opportunities. Given his denial of bail and detainment, Tate broke his silence about his arrest when he posted on his Twitter account that The Matrix sent their agents. He maintains that The Matrix will only tell you what it wants you to believe. Tate has suggested many times that this so-called Matrix has some mysterious powerful people who've been trying to silence him for a long time. He revealed in a podcast that his deplatforming from social media was one of the Matrix's moves to kill him, and their next move was to put him in jail and then execute him. Apart from his claims about the Matrix attempting to silence and kill him, he also referred to this unidentified global controlling force when he spoke out in support of the former United States President Donald Trump. In a podcast he appeared in before getting arrested, Tate explained that the Matrix rigged the elections in favor of Joe Biden two hours to Donald Trump. Despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, on the podcast he bravely asserts that for the first time in the history of the United States of America, they stopped counting as various jurisdictions were offered by this so-called Matrix. He gave examples of how a mysterious pipe burst caused the election results for the Georgia County which contains the majority of Atlanta and would have been a swing vote for Trump in 2020, to be delayed without any proof of this, of course. 
He also noted that the Nevada court decision that rejected Trump's allegations that more than 61,000 voters cast multiple ballots or votes from the outside of the state during the 2020 election. However, this claim was also debunked. He described the Matrix tactics as silencing Trump as these garbage legislations. Andrew Tate compared the media's attempts to remove him from various platforms to the efforts of Google, YouTube, and Twitter to vilify Donald Trump, while preventing others from forming their own opinions about the former US president. However, he did not consider that people could hear what Trump said directly from his own mouth. Despite this, Tate's description of a powerful matrix that controls our thoughts and minds caught the attention of Elon Musk, who responded with a tweet containing a quote from Morpheus in the movie The Matrix. The quote suggested that to escape the matrix, one must unlearn everything they've been taught and rebuild their belief system, based on critical thought and analysis. While this is a clear reference to The Matrix, it's unclear if Musk was trolling Tate or endorsing his view. Musk has faced criticism and hostility in the media before, such as for his opinion on the COVID-19 lockdown, which has since been proven to be true. Initially, when Musk stated that the COVID-19 shot had negative side effects, he was ignored and labeled a conspiracy theorist. However, now many people are coming forward to say that they've experienced severe side effects from the vaccine. Nonetheless, it's important to note that this is still a small portion of the population, and the vaccine has been repeatedly proven to be safe and effective after hundreds of millions of doses. In 2018, Musk was forced to pay $20 million in fines by the US Securities and Exchange Commission and resign as Tesla's chairman due to a tweet that led to the fines. In some ways, Elon Musk and Andrew Tate share similarities in that they both aim to challenge the status quo. Andrew Tate refers to this as challenging the matrix. However, they also have many differences. Tate talks about the matrix often and focuses on it, while Musk is more focused on being savage and taking digs at Tate. This was evident on the day Tate and his brother were released from a book of rest jail, where they had been placed on house arrest for almost three months due to their involvement in human trafficking and other serious crimes. Musk tweeted a message that many on Twitter took to be a clever response to Tate's ideas about the Matrix. He tweeted, If you don't like reality, just ignore it. Works almost every time. In a follow-up tweet, he clarified that the tweet was taken out of context by many on Twitter. The timing of Musk's tweet coincided with Tate's release from prison, adding to the speculation that it was a response to Tate's Matrix ideas. Tate and his brother were placed on house arrest while the investigation into their involvement in serious crimes continues. However, according to a spokesperson for the brothers, they're appreciative of the judge and courts for allowing them to return home and will continue to fight to clear their names of all accusations. The Romanian Asset Recovery Management Agency had seized assets worth approximately $4 million that belonged to the controversial personality, including cars, expensive watches, and sums of money in various currencies. Tate argues that he's being unfairly accused and labeled because he's merely a success coach who instructs men on how to avoid being around toxic and negative individuals in general. He emphasizes the importance of choosing positive role models and avoiding toxic men and women alike. He denies the allegations that he despises women, stating that his mother is his hero. The Romanian government's decision about the evidence presented against him will determine whether he truly despises women or is merely trying to fight the Matrix. Tate's brother, Tristan, has also stated that he's an innocent man and is looking forward to proving it. In conclusion, while there may be similarities between Elon Musk and Andrew Tate in terms of their desire to challenge the status quo, they differ greatly in their approach and priorities. Musk's recent tweets, in response to Tate's comments on The Matrix, suggest that he's not taking Tate's ideas seriously. Meanwhile, Tate and his brother Tristan continue to fight the accusations of human trafficking and other serious crimes that led to their house arrest. The Romanian government's decision regarding the evidence presented against Tate will ultimately determine his innocence or guilt. So, what are your thoughts about Andrew Tate? Are we actually living in a matrix? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you.
It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.